have a team presentation from Lo Rose Lathrop from Sustainable Connections and Alex McLean from Bellingham Greeners. Rose is Sustainable Connections Green Building and Smart Growth Program Manager. She is a graduate from Huxley College, a LEED accredited professional, and a certified Sustainable Building Advisor. Rose has a deep-seated passion for sustainable living and practices this in her daily life. She is a curious blend of urban farmer, community maker, and most importantly, a mother. Alex studied sustainable design, environmental science, and journalism at Western Washington University. After sitting on a few City of Bellingham committees, he is becoming increasingly interested in how urban, des urban design and building policies can shape or deform our cities. In 2010, Alex founded BellinghamGreenRoofs.com, an informational site devoted to spreading the gospel of green roofs here and beyond. Welcome them to the stage. participate in radical expressions, creating this very unique place. A future where citizen engagement goes beyond chiming in during the public process, but rather actually doing what we want to see happen. Bellingham's future is vibrant and creative. <laughs> Burning Man is a city that is created each year by 68,000 people for just one week. This interactive city isn't defined by its governing body, but rather its community that comes armed ready and willing to participate in radical self-expression and civic responsibility. There is a term popular in Burning Man participants. We call it do-ocracy. This is if you want something done, do it. It is not the responsibility of elected or selected officials, but as a rule, you must be excellent to each other when doing so. This is what makes a Burning Man engaging and completely indescribable. This concept is moving beyond the desert in Nevada. People are beginning to embrace duocracy and participate in what is called placemaking. This refers to temporary, cheap, and usually grassroots interventions that are designed to improve the city life on a block-by-block, -block, street by street basis. Yeah. These efforts give concerned citizens, creative thinkers, ways to reclaim built environments, encourage pedestrian traffic and street life, promote economic investment without being bogged down by big politics and strangled budgets. These project, projects has relatively low risk of potential for long-term change. Sometimes sanctioned, sometimes not, these actions offer deliberate phased approach to instigating change. They offer local ideas for local planning challenges. This enormous chair disappeared. No one asked for it, no one approved it, no one critiqued it. But we like it. <laughs> Across the world, placemaking actions are revitalizing streets and improving the social well-being of neighborhoods. Whether it's chair bombing, guerrilla gardening, parking lot dance parties, or artistic intersections, the citizens are responsible for taking action and creating their own community. Creative placemaking is a leading strategy to enhancing community and economic development. Now and in the future, Bellingham's uniqueness will fuel growth. It will support our local economy, attract business investment, create safe and walkable spaces, revitalizing and activating <coughs> our streets. The lack of resources is no longer an excuse not to act. The planning of a city is messy. Some things will fail but we should not be afraid to try. Let's support each other to bring crazy ideas like painting intersections or <laughs> swings in the streets. Let's see what will happen. It can be the first step in lasting change. True transformative change will need to work in conjunction with long-term planning efforts. Maybe your role isn't radical expressions. Maybe it's working with our friends at the city to see large and small Change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for guerrilla art, for billboard liberation, midnight bike lanes, and for promoting the Bellingham Mystery Tortilla Appreciation Society. There are over 700 likes on the BMTAS Facebook page. One of the side effects of alienating people from the public process, it seems, is it opens portals to creative mischief. 
Some of the big things, however, need our policymakers' help in order for our city to become the place we want to live in. Policymakers in this role are also placemakers. An example of this can be seen by comparing Bellingham's feeble green roof policy with the policies of downtown Stuttgart. Much like the waterfront plan, the city of Bellingham chose to throw the public's input from the downtown placemaking exercises in the dumpster. The casualty was this idea of converting the perpetually empty top floor of the parkade to a public garden or park. People love the idea, but will get the bathrooms remodeled instead. <laughs> Stodgy bureaucracy can also be seen in the horribly disfigured bike racks that have lived for 25 years. When I proposed this simple remodel to the city, they offered me a less than excellent mass of nonsensical policy gibberish to subdue my nefarious scheme. <laughs> As repulsed as I sometimes am, I also know their process can accomplish great things. I know that welcoming six million Canadian tourists with a sign like this will be done through grants, through tedious meetings, and through our elected officials doing what Joe or Jane resident cannot do on their own. Still, part of what Bruce described should include citizens hacking into the hardwired fear that guides local government. Pike Place Market, New York's world-famous High Line, and our local granary building are examples of big, cool things that only happen because of involved and frisky citizens. <laughs> so when City Council acts as though the tragedy playing out on our waterfront were occurring in some distant land of implacable woes, we need to remind them otherwise. Don't tear these towers down. Nut up and tax the developers 1% of public art as other cities have done. These examples represent opportunities lost by the city not daring to reach outside the box and its bottom supply of tepid ideas. Any dipshit city can do a Ferris wheel. Let's double down and do two. <laughs> Among Port's favorite tax shelter, crank them up to 60 RPM and give out a diaper with every ticket. Yeah! Bellingham's future is vibrant, it's creative, and you people are doing it. So what are you going to do? We are asking you to take this call to action. We are calling to you to just fucking do it. <laughs>